Welcome everyone. Welcome to Compassion Camp. We are here by our fire with a tent. Oh, oh, pardon. Oh, and a canoe and Miss Brittany and I'm Pastor David. We're here. Wait, oh. What's going on? Oh, Why are you yawning so much? Excuse me. I, I'm a little sleepy. Oh. <sighs> oh my goodness. I've heard of this before. Uh, I just yawned because you're yawning. Have you ever done that? Mm. Have you ever yawned because you've seen someone else yawn? Well, here's a fun little fact. Mm. Even chimpanzees and dogs will yawn if they see someone else yawn. Really? Isn't oh, that crazy? That is crazy. I, I have seen my dogs yawn. They'll yawn back and forth between Wiley and Bo. Well, yeah. let's try a little experiment. All right. Let's yawn. You yawn. See if it makes me yawn. And then see if it makes you yawn at home. <laughs> it is it is sort of it made me yawn a little bit. Did it happen to you? Oh goodness. Well, it, it does kind of remind me that when you see someone do it and you and then you copy them or you just, just do it, it's sort of like seeing someone laugh or you're crying, you feel what they're feeling a little bit, or you feel like, oh, I'm concerned if you're crying or I'm having feeling good if you're laughing. And we call that empathy. It's when you're feeling with the other person or you can see them first and then feel what they're feeling. And then if you go even further with that, where you're you know, really taking it inside, it's called compassion. And that's what our camp is about, compassion camp. And um, we want to work at this, sort of seeing each other and then really paying attention to each other and then feeling what the other one feels. So I'm going to give you an example. Have you ever stepped on a Lego? Oh, I've stepped yes. on a Lego. So if I see someone else step on a Lego, I can feel their hurt when they do mm. it. Ow. And that is compassion. I see them. I feel what they're feeling. I can relate to what they're feeling and be empathetic or compassionate. Uh, so the just again, you saw the person step on the Lego and you knew it was who you knew who it was, and so you see them and then you feel with them, right? And that's right. that's compassion. Yes. And so here we have kind of a table set around this little virtual fire, a pretend fire. And we could be outside camping. We could be in your backyard. You could be on your porch, on your deck, wherever you live. It could be at your kitchen table. Um, and what we want you to do is to kind of join us at this table. And I want you to think about how our tables, as we join together, we should welcome everyone to a table because we want to hear each other, see each other, and know what each other is feeling. And so that's what we do. And it's a bit like, kind of like when we have Holy Communion or the Lord's table, it's called many things, the Last Supper or the Eucharist. When we do that, we welcome everyone. And we welcome anyone who wants to come and follow Christ and learn about God to come to that table and join us. And we just make it an open table. And that's what we're doing at, the, at this camp. We want that feeling of empathy at the table. Yes, so today's song is a gathering song that is, that is titled, Come to the Table. The song sheet is in your packet, so I encourage you to grab your song sheet, and then in your Compassion Camp kit, you should have an egg shaker, so you can grab that, any other noisemaker that you have in your house, and you can sing along with us. Um, we're going to sing along right now around the campfire, but you can also watch the music video and listen to just the music later on and learn the words. And we will sing it together during our Zoom call this afternoon. Let's have a party, let's have a party, 
let's have a party, let's have a party, come celebrate with us. You are my brother, you are my sister, we are God's children, come celebrate with us. We are a family, we are a family, we are a family, come celebrate with us. There are many different words that you can make up to this song. So the one verse, you are my brother, you are my sister, we are God's children. We made that verse up in replace of you are my sibling. So while you're singing this song, make up your own words and, and send us a video of you singing this fun, come to the table, gathering song. And who can you invite to the table? You may surprise yourself and think of all those people that could, could, could come to your table today, tonight, tomorrow, tonight. Yes. yes. So let us pray together. We have a prayer and I'll do this so that you can repeat after me. All right, let us pray. Everybody put your hand okay. on your head and one hand on your heart so we can feel. And think, think about it and feel it. Here we go. Welcoming one. Welcoming one. Your warm, wide arms are always open. Your warm, wide arms are always open. Drawing us in to your heart full of love. Drawing us in to your heart full of love. Make our arms your arms. Make our arms your arms. Helping us to see and welcome. Helping us to see and welcome. With compassion, all those we meet. With compassion, all those we meet. Amen. Amen. Hi, I'm Cullen Ferguson, and I'm a member of the church. I'm going to tell you a Bible story that comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, 11 through 32. It's about the father and the two brothers, the prodigal son. Jesus told this parable. There once was a man who had two sons. The younger brother greedily demanded his inheritance, turned his back on his family, and left them for a faraway country. He wasted all the money he took from his family. Soon he became needy and hungry. Even though he felt ashamed, he decided to return home, hoping that his father might welcome him. When his father saw him, he was filled with compassion. He ran out to his son and threw his arms around him. He was so happy he was alive. The father got a big dinner together, together with the best food and a drink to give thanks for his son's safe return. Meanwhile, the older brother came in from the fields, tired from working all day. When he heard the music and the dancing, he became very angry and he refused to go in. His father went to the older brother to persuade him to come. But he said, I've listened to you and I've worked hard for you all these years and you've never given me a party. My brother comes home after wasting all his money and you throw him a huge party. His father said to him, son, I love you. You know what is mine is yours, but people matter more than possessions. We thought we lost your brother from our family, but he's home. Come to the table and celebrate with us. In your uh, day one kit, you have some puppets. We encourage you to cut those out, glue them or tape them to the popsicle sticks that are all included and retell the story. Have fun. Tell the story in your own words. How, how did the one brother feel that his younger brother came back after taking his inheritance and they threw him a party? Do you think he finally came to the table? Mm, I don't know. Do you think that he forgave his brother? 
So different things that you can think about and you can use your puppets to even continue on with the story. I have some pizza here Thank that we you. made here at the fire. And we're going to join one another at the table. Blessings on your meal.